This one, right? VHX D3. Yes, my friends, that's the one. The weapon that requires you to be level 17, I think, in order for it to be unlocked. And this video is going to be very unusual for the way I make videos anyway. And that is, I'm going to show you these clips in chronological order. This is the very first time I fire this weapon. I have no attachments on it. And uh, I am not okay. very happy with what? the iron sights. But I am very happy with the range capability of this weapon when you burst fire with it. What? And uh, yeah, I, I was actually thinking about not post commenting on this video at all because of my reactions. I'm going like, what is this? And uh, for the ones of you who have been using this weapon or who uh, like this weapon, personally I would say enjoy it while it lasts because in my experience a weapon that is this powerful this effective and especially this versatile will eventually be nerfed by dice and that is what i expect is going to happen with the vhx d3 now i might be wrong and uh, i guess nobody would be more happy than me because i love this weapon uh, i've been using it for two days now i think or is it three at the time of making this video and i've had a couple of really nice kill streaks that i left unedited on my main channel the link to that channel is in the description and it's also on my main channel where i stream live every day and as I'm sure you know, or at least most of you know, I just came back to Battlefield 2042 after being away from it almost exclusively since launch. I did not like this game in the beginning, but it has slowly been growing on me. And as of lately, I've had a lot of fun playing this game. That is when I'm not too frustrated over all the crashes and uh, other kinds of problems that me and some other people have. So again, I know I've said this before, but I must say that DICE have done a lot of things right with the recent updates. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, how to pinpoint what they've done that made this game go from being absolutely terrible to now being a lot of fun and a great game, you know, again, when it works. But to me, it's been kind of like a slow process. Uh, there's been two updates, uh, well, yeah, Season 4 and Season 5 also made some significant changes, but again, it was when Season 6 was released that I felt like, okay, I just cannot stop playing this game now, I'm having so much fun, and, uh, well, this weapon really adds to it, at least for me. So, uh, later in the video, you'll see, uh, well, one of the things you will see at the very end of the video is I'm actually going to play some Boris, and we have the answer to the question that quite a lot of us has been asking. There's been some on and off about uh, mines, whether or not they stay on the ground if you die and even switch to another class that doesn't even have the mines. So if you are still in the dark in this question, the mines do stay just like in Battlefield 1. I've had a couple of kills that way now. So uh, even, yeah, even getting kills as McKay with mines that I laid out as Boris. So uh, that has now been confirmed. And uh, yeah, most of you guys probably knew that. But we who have been away from this game for quite a while, well, some of us at least, we didn't. So uh, that's a good thing. It fits me quite well. So now, aside from being a beast at range, this weapon is also really, really good at close range. Mainly, I think, due to its crazy hip, uh, crazy fire rate. The hip fire is probably quite okay, not the best, but well enough to keep you very, very competitive in most situations. You see a bit of that here, and after this clip is over, I'm going to show you the attachments I have at the moment. Alright, so let me show you my current setup. Starting off with the Fusion Hollow, that's the site that I use probably 95% of the time. I just recently put on the Thermal, uh, the TR1. Um, yeah, it's... Um, I will see how much I, I use it. I, I normally like to use it when there's a lot of vegetation. So, uh, a little bit here and there maybe, but main, this one, you get it very early on also, so that's a great thing about it. I have been using the extended barrel quite a bit, but for the most part I use the champion muscle break. I'm not sure if I'm going to try out the Arcom tactical muscle break rather than, uh, let me see, uh, 
the name of it again rather than the champion um, haven't decided and of course the rep suppressor is for uh, close quarter combat situations when you don't really need the damage at range but the benefit of not showing up on enemy radar is undisputable I haven't really seen any significant benefits or drawbacks to any of the magazines uh, with the AK on the other hand there's a massive difference between the high powered and the standard one um, I guess I guess I'm, I'm using the high powered one by default so probably the probably why I don't really care so much about it now what people might be wondering about is why I'm using the LWG grip well that's because I'm main McKay and uh, I second that with Boris but since movement is a big part of my playstyle I prefer accuracy while moving over uh, oh now I <laughs> now I'm fiddling now I'm mm, messing it up here over for example using the cobra grip now the cobra grip is something that i could consider using but um i'm gonna try the grenade i still haven't fired a single round uh, a single grenade but i'll try it at some point i have tried the rattlesnake light grip for close quarter combat situations but i have not yet found a good uh, uh, CQC setup for this weapon as of yet. I get a little bit confused when I switch too much and try to make this weapon into something that it really isn't. So this is my current setup and uh, we'll see how this changes, if it changes in the future. Did I? So yeah, that's the long barrel by the way and honestly that could in the future be my uh, default uh, barrel attachment actually i'm not entirely sure so if you have any tips and suggestions leave it in the comment section and of course check it out when i play live uh, on the streams on my main channel this game is for the most part action-packed but i always have these slow moments normally somewhere in the middle of the round when nothing happens i still struggle a little bit with finding the right action uh, consistently now in, in a video like this it looks like i have action all the time but for the most part on basically all the rounds there's always some down time where i'm just kind of running around on an empty map looking for enemies so yeah we're almost halfway through the video the most interesting the most epic moments i think happens at the end of the video obviously because then i have more experience with this gun and uh, yeah please keep watching and i hope i will see you in the next live stream my name is matthias peace out
sliced his throat. Marking threat, 60 meters away from my position. Oh no! So bad! Wait, there's another guy? Another one for me. Ready! Your locator, 70 meters from my position. Oh, get fucking wrecked. Put 